That's really good, by the way. And I say it's been done in literally no time, 20 minutes, and it looks honestly fabulous. Please make sure that you check out our video on YouTube, subscribe, like, and then away we go. The first recipe that we're gonna be cooking is our amazing pulled chicken sliders. The first thing we're gonna be doing is gonna be marinating our chicken fillets. Now we're gonna use Cajun spice for this again, store-bought Cajun spice, quick and easy. We're gonna coat it very liberally and then we're just gonna massage the Cajun spice into this chicken. And now we're just gonna get our deep steaming tray and we're gonna simply lay our chicken fillets in our deep steaming tray. Now we're gonna be steaming this for around about 15 minutes only. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove that lid. I'm gonna get some water and we're gonna put about half a quart in there, about a pint of water. We're then we're gonna insert our deep steaming tray, attach the lid, go to steaming mode, set it for 15 minutes. Okay guys, our chicken is now steaming very nicely and we're, we're literally minutes away from eating your pulled chicken sliders. Once our chicken's finished, we can pop them on top of the deep steaming tray just to keep warm as well. It also works brilliantly too. We're just slicing our sliders in half. The only thing we've got left now is our barbecue sauce. All that's gonna do is gonna go in with the chicken and then we're gonna chop it all up together. Great. Now, we're gonna carefully remove the lid from the steaming tray, so then you can see this fabulous looking chicken. We're just gonna remove this. Now what we need to do, we're just gonna rinse out the excess liquid, the cooking liquid. You're gonna put your chicken fillets into your mixing bowl. Our barbecue sauce. Now you shouldn't really need to season this recipe at all because we've got quite a lot of spice on the Cajun and also the barbecue sauce can also be quite salty at times too. So now our burger buns will go on top. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a quick chop, speed four for 30 seconds. All we are left to do is remove this Wow, look at that. And then you see inside of our bowl, some really fabulous tasting. So all we're left to do now is we've got our nice warm buns. We're just gonna build these sliders now, okay? Then we're just gonna get a fork. Then we're just gonna divide this beautiful pulled chicken onto each bit. Serve it nice and hot. Then we've just got our slaw. We're gonna just pop our slaw on top. We're gonna get messy here. Looking at beautiful. If you want to, you can put some more barbecue sauce on the top there as well. When you put the top on, and then it just squeezes out, oozes out from that burger bun right there. Such a quick and easy meal. Pull chicken sliders. The second and probably most easiest recipe that I'm gonna show you is this jalapeno popper, where we're gonna be steaming it on top of molto. Really super simple, really straightforward. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the jalapeno popper. I've got a little tip for you to make it a lot easier for when you actually wrap the bacon around there, is that we're gonna remove a little bit of the skin off the jalapeno. Now you could use this with, with, with a sharp knife, or you could also do it with a potato peeler. Remove a little bit of the skin, and then I'm gonna chop off the end. At this point, you're gonna be very, very careful. Then you're just gonna remove the, the stalk and the core of this jalapeno. Now, if you really don't wanna do this or you're quite worried about it, you could just simply split the jalapeno in half, okay, and then just remove the seeds that way. By doing it this, the cream cheese is gonna stay inside the jalapeno popper. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be filling these fabulous jalapenos. Some cream cheese that I've put to room temperature. And I've, in here I've got a food bag, okay? That I'm, I'm actually just going to put the cream cheese into the food bag. And then on the end of the cream cheese, we've got a nozzle, okay? That, that obviously we, we're gonna to use to fit inside of here. So all we're gonna do now, please make sure that you do leave your, um, your, your, your cream cheese out of the fridge, 
for, for a good 20 minutes or so before you do this. Otherwise, it's not going to pipe very, very well. All we're gonna do is we're gonna be pipe the cream cheese inside the jalapeno. A nice little tip actually, if you know, if you did want to actually make these, you know, um, in an oven or bake them at home, you could dip these into some breadcrumbs, then wrap them in the bacon, then roast them and they, they'll go really, really crispy. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So we're gonna be using our, our steaming set again, and then we're gonna add some water to our mixing bowl. Then we're just going to insert the deep steaming tray. Now we're gonna simply get our bacon, and then we're gonna be rolling our poppers. I'm gonna add the lid onto the steaming set, and then I'm gonna be steaming this for 15 minutes. So let's have a quick look. Wow, looks really, really nice. The, the bacon's cooked very well, and we can be very carefully just laying them onto the serving plate. There we have our jalapeno cheesy poppers. The final recipe we're gonna be making is our guacamole. Super simple. Four ingredients are gonna go into this. The first thing we're gonna start off is with the avocado. So we wanna get some nice ripe avocados. Then you're gonna run your knife around the outside. And then we're just gonna remove it like so. We're gonna get the stone and then we're gonna twist. Now what we're gonna do to start with is we're going to add some onion into there, a little touch of hot sauce or Tabasco, some salt, and then a whole lime. Then we're gonna activate turbo mode and turbo the onions for about two seconds. We're gonna spoon our avocados directly into our mixing bowl. And then we're gonna be turbo moding this for about three or four seconds. Great, done. That's it finished, really quick and easy. So all what's left to do now is obviously finish off our, our dip. Now we've got some fantastic nachos here, okay? But then look at that, we've got such a beautiful guacamole ready and that's say five seconds. Okay, then we're just gonna spoon the guacamole on the bowl. A really super easy five second guacamole. So I hope you all like what we've done today. These three quick and easy recipes, five second guacamole, jalapeno poppers, and also these lovely pulled chicken sliders. Let's have a taste to see what it's like. Lovely.